Hi guys, in this video we will see how a teacher will be able to create the assignment and check the status of the assignment for the students. So I am logging in as the teacher and I can go to academics tab and assignment. So here I have to click on create new assignment to be able to create an assignment. I will give the title of the assignment and select the subject. So the subjects here will come up as per the association that the Fedina administrator has done. So in the employee subject association that we have seen in the first video, we have seen how the employee can associate a teacher or a normal employee with subjects. So this employee is associated to Abacus in UKG A batch, to Abacus in UKG B batch and to English subject in UKG A batch. So I can select for which batch I want to create the assignment. And when I select the subject along with the batch, the students of that batch will appear. I can select the students for whom this assignment is to be created. It can be all the students or few students. I can attach a file if the description or the content of the assignment is longer. I can also set the due date which is by default one week from now. It can be changed to a lesser date or a bigger date. I can create this assignment. Once the assignment is created, let's see how the student will be able to see the assignment. Here I will go to assignment tab under academics and I can see the subject, the assignment and the due date of this assignment. So as a student, I can check the content of the assignment and answer the assignment. So I can mention the title of the answer. And a file can also be attached for more details. And the answer can be submitted. So like this, the other students of this batch may submit the assignment. And now when I log in as a teacher, I can check who all have submitted the assignment by going to the assignment link. I will select the subject, click on the title of the assignment and I can check the answered employees, the assigned employees, the answered employees and the pending to be answered employees. So here when I click on answered, I can check the student and when I click on the student, I will be able to see the answer of this student. I can either accept this answer or reject it. If the answer is rejected, the student will get an option to edit this assignment. So this is how as a teacher I can create assignments and check the status of the assignments. In the next video we will see how I can mark attendance for the students. So we will see the details in the next video. Be tuned in.